Okay, I guess we're going back then. All right, I'm tired of hearing the nurse walk around. It's time we can go ahead and enter. Oh wait, there's another note before I enter. Observers notes number three. Days passed since anomaly detected 12 cases to quarantine. Impossible to measure. Everybody's infected. I believe I contracted the disease, even with all the safety precautions. I'm not sure how long I have left with my thoughts. It is as we fear. The organization taking over is using the substance found in the mines to replicate patient zero. Are we patient zero? So are we the ones that initially contacted or contracted the disease or the elder disease or whatever the hell it is? And upon seeing it, whenever the rich person got here, they're like, oh, we need to replicate that. We want what she has. And they just turn everybody else into monsters, terrible monsters. But then they're like, oh, you know what? Kids, kids are the reason, uh, are the only ones that are able to get that knowledge. So we need to start offering up the kids and then just turn the kids into demons as well. The only one who can really do it is her because she was the original. She was the OG. Picked up the matchstick. Uh, Elder Lord number five. Oh, maybe that's why the mother said that she's the only one with a choice. Like, they all got infected just like she did, but she has a choice to, I don't know, go evil or not go evil versus the mother. Once she was infected, she just became that. Margaret spent her whole life around the family home in Alderstow, researching the connection between their world and ours. The studies were promising, and her son was set to continue our work, but he became disillusioned. Leaving the town for many years, he never returned before his mother's funeral. It was only then he settled in the old family home with his bride. So, grandmother started all of this. Of course, it's always the grandmother in these old rich families that did some dark stuff. See hereditary. Hello? Okay, I think we turned that on. I, I hope we turned that on. We have our father's eyes. Used eyeball retinal scanner. Cool, and that just got rid of the vines. Still haven't figured out what grandmother. Oh, that's a big boy. So we're supposed to open at 104 somehow. I still haven't figured out what it is. Grandmother's trying to show us. Can we take him out without using this? Because he seems kind of big. Come on. This has got to be like ultimate damage though, right? Like this has got to be... Oh, he throws stuff. Got it. Die. Die. Reload. Oh God. Oh God. Die. Die. Wow, he's taking all those. Okay, don't get close to him. Die, die. Die, die, die. Die, 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 die. Are you kidding me? Are we just wasting our bullets? Something tells me there's no reason this thing should still be alive. No way. Oh, hey. Hey. Hold on. Distance. Nope, he was just really, really strong. All right, we need to open up 204 as well. Whatever we do, we do not open up. Is there noted here or something here? No, we do not open up 203. Or 202. Definitely don't open up 202. I have a syringe, uh, which takes us to maximum. I don't know if I want to use that just yet, though. Door opened. There's the elevator door. I'm coming, buddy. As soon as I figure out what it is grandmother was trying to tell me. You know what? Maybe it's not so much where the fingers are pointed. Maybe it's more of the direction they're going. Like that first one's going up to the left. That one's going to the right and it's going up. So up, left, right, up, I think. Up, left, right, up. Okay. Thanks, Grandma. Always looking out for me. Up, left, right, up. So up, left, right. Right? Come on, that has to be it. Really? Oh, 102 opens. That's cool. Get some health out of that. Dope. Definitely need that. We'll never turn those down. Uh, 103 opens, but you better be extra dead. Hopefully not the ones we named. Hopefully not Yelatoa and, uh, was it Theo something? I know Yelatoa. I don't remember the other one. Shut that back just in case. 
Hmm, you must be special and chosen as well, just like I was. Not as special as me, but you know, like close to it. Definitely in the ballpark. Okay, this opens up. Just in case somebody else is feeling froggy. We can bust up a bus up a bus up a bus We'll leave that close. And we'll leave that close. It doesn't look like there's anything of use in there to me. Okay, so because I don't know the code yet, I'm wondering if we're supposed to move a little bit forward because we yet don't know the answer. It says exit though. Let me see. What does this go to? Nah, there's no way. This is where Daniel's gonna be at. So no, it can't be this just yet. It's gotta be something we're not doing right with that grandmother. I just don't know what. Okay. So it looks like you can actually hit her. Do we need to kill this thing? That why? Wait, what is it? Do? It's pointing at something. That's exactly what it is. Okay, so hit her and she'll tell you what it is. Left, up, down, right. Left, up, down, right. Left, up, down, right. There we go. So left. Come on. Up. Down and then right. There we go. All right. I feel good about that because it wasn't one of those puzzles that I felt like, oh, I'll never figure this out. I need to look it up. It was just one of those where like, I just have to sit here and really think about what I'm looking at. And eventually, hopefully the answer comes to me, which thankfully it did. Thank you for making that possible, Elder Bell. What's going on, Daniel son? Not the karate kid though. Hey, are you okay? Yes. Who are you? Someone who wants to get you out of here. Come on, follow me. Yes, follow the stranger. That always works well for all of my friend, just like Sam when she got snatched up by God knows what. Speaking of Sam and whatever the uh, the dog's name was, where are they? Uh, we need to not go this way. Don't open any of those prison gates. Come hit the elevator with me. Let's go see ya, da da. I wonder if the dad's there now. He just wasn't there because I showed up early. Yeah, he is there. Interesting. He wasn't there earlier. Oh, it's a family reunion. Oh, is it? Is everything okay? You saved him. Can't thank you enough. You gave me a last chance to be the father he always deserved. After all that happened to you, you still have humanity and compassion. Oh, so are they saying that I could have left without saving Colin? We have some catching up to do. You go ahead. This this isn't the best place for y'all to do catching up, at, like at all. If we both survive, meet us in the main hall. This this seems like the opposite of the place you'd want you and your kid to catch up. Look at there's blood all around you. There's like a demon baby right beside you. Did I kill this demon baby? Door shut tight. Okay. Oh, that's not yellow Thor. Hello. Hello. There we go. Oh my gosh. I better was slow. I don't know if I can pick eat. I don't know what floor have we not been to. I guess. I'm not really sure what our main mission is here. So uh, uh, we haven't been to the third floor. It looks like might as well go check that out. Looks. Or yeah, we have. We have been. To, that's where the laboratory is at. In the basement. Aren't we already on the basement? Oh, I guess. Go to the main hall. I don't know. Is it creepy to anybody that, or just, is it just me that he's now hanging back up there when we know for a fact he dropped earlier? Why is he hanging back up here? What, what is going on? Why is it like certain things are resetting? All right, let's try the second floor then. Second floor, please. Please, please, please have something good for me. That seems pretty good. I'll take that for sure.
Not a lot, but just enough. Yeah, this just leads into the creepy library. All right, I guess third floor. Let's check out the third floor. All right, third floor. Wow, she went ham on everything in here. A lot of dead kids and just one nurse pacing creepily around. Hi, I'll, I'll fight you in here in case any of those are still awake. Die, die, no, die, die, die. Why are we pausing? Just swing, please swing. Oh my gosh, we got screwed a little bit there. I mean, we only took one hit, but we should have taken any hits. Are you all dead? Yeah, I'd say like slow. <gasps> oh my God. So sorry, at Josh. Josh did not make it. Oh, so that's what all these things are. Okay. Well, Josh went out like a G, at least. You know, he took out a lot of enemies. It just seemed like that nurse was a little bit too much for him. Found the map. Tubes. Tubes. Oh, poor Josh. Why do they fight? What do they want? Devotion? New headmaster? Freedom? Take over the world? So many things. Or is locked? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be locked? Is that a crib? It is a crib. And then this is or opened. Oh, this looks ominous. Oh yeah, I need to save. Okay, well, okay, so before we go that way, let's actually go this way, because there was a crib over here. A crib with paper? Yep. Melissa's letter to June. Dear sister, I feel like everything is falling apart around me. I know we became distant over the years, but I need your help. Now more than ever. It's about Ophelia. I fear we might not be able to take care of her when she needs us the most. Please, let her live a normal life far from this madness. No matter what happens, we are family. This does seem a lot like Hereditary, a mother who realizes that, you know, her grandmother has sinister plans for their child, and so sends her away. I mean, in the Hereditary's case, I didn't send it, it didn't send a baby away, it just kept the baby away from the grandmother. Who is it? Is that Ash? I mean, Sam? Met the Feely. You survived. Good. There's still hope then. Sam, what happened? We got their asses kicked. We were overwhelmed. Howard brought us here. He knows more than he lets on. We tried escaping and Josh broke out, but I heard fighting. The I'm sorry, Sam. He's gone. Don't let it be for nothing. The assumption is so close now. Once you get to the core of the house, you will get a chance to make it right. Listen, don't try to save me, okay? Feels like I won't make it. Sam. This might be the last chance we get to talk. Did your aunt treat you well? She raised me like her own. She died last year. She almost had the baby she always dreamed of. Her husband said I could stay. But after her death, the nightmare started again. It's been getting worse ever since. The tests, the treatment, the medication. I just couldn't take it anymore. I felt less like myself each passing day. You will do the right thing sure of it. Don't let anyone distract you. Now go. Make us all proud. Nice knowing you. Hang in there, Sam. I'll figure something out. Yeah, there's no way we're just gonna let Sam die. If there's an option to save Sam, we will find that option and we will exploit it to its fullest exploitiness. Totally a word. I did not just make that up. Exploitiness is a word. Look it up. Uh, Picked up matches times three. The core of the house, huh? Reminds me of that old haunted house movie. No, not the monster house with the kids. Came out in the early 2000s when I was a kid. I think it might even freak me out a little bit when I was a kid. I can't remember that well. Well, hello, Guillermo. What's, uh, what's going on in here? Howard. At last. I almost thought you got lost or something. Or it could be the damn monsters that's all over this place. Howard. Come on. Don't give me that look. I know it was hard for you. 
This was your plan? You ruined my family? You corrupted the institution? Is it all just for profit and power? Getting money out of this? I'm starting to think you haven't been paying attention. I have. I saved your family. He saved your life with the technology I paid for. Because I could. I'm not tripping. Why does his shadow look like he's like hanging out like this and his fingers are like this, but he's just standing like this? Enough with the lies. Tell me the truth. There are a lot of truths. One says the night we managed to save your life, the extracted matter unleashed a reaction not known to man. It fused the consciousness of the children and vanished. Another tells a tale of a father so intent on saving his daughter. He disregarded the safety of everyone else here and caused a tragedy. You used Daniel to get rid of him. Now you sit at his desk. You are not half the man he was. You still have too much respect for him. The man was as clever as he was stubborn and more selfish than any of us. He only thought about you and not the potential this discovery has. With the elders' knowledge, we could prevent wars, end suffering and famine. Oh, isn't he so altruistic? You must be smarter than your father. You must see this is bigger than all of us. We need to think about the future, not just our petty needs. Look around you. Do you think this is paradise? Is this what you'd want for the children? They don't have to know. Just us, the keepers of this new fire. But keeping the demons away, we will decipher their world to humanity. And do it yourself, but leave me out of it. They chose you as the first host when you got sick as a child. They need an anchor to, to connect them to us and control this place. Along with many others, I failed in the assumption. He didn't want to just make it that it was just him. He was like, no, it, not just me, but like me and like a lot of people. I was like one of a lot of people that failed the assumption. Our minds and bodies couldn't take the pressure. Only three were ever found to be capable. We knew from your case that the host can be kept alive with them in control. I made a last promise to your father, let you go. That's why I needed a safety plan, Samantha, and our current host. I injected them with a sample to see if they can take it. The latter showed more affinity than even you did. You took their choices away from them. How about I kill you right now? Do as you wish. The pieces are all in place. I did my job. Now it's time you do yours. Okay. So, yeah, don't screw with our father. Take care of that. That's the same choice we should have made in Least of the Painful, but too late. Too late. He's extra uber dead. Okay, we grabbed all that. What's over here? Howard's memo number three, it's done. Without Helen, I don't even know why I'm keeping this up. I honored Jack's final request and let Ophelia go. That selfish man was incapable of seeing the bigger picture, helping all of humanity with the power we unleashed instead of extinguishing it. The elders could give us insight to save mankind. Uh, Helen, Helen, Helen is a grandmother, right? My parents' bed, they probably spent their wedding night here. Oh, okay, that's a weird thought. Weird thought there, Ophelia. Weird thought. Um, okay, go over here, I guess. Or not. Tokens. Tokens, tokens. Gotta have my tokens. Put my tokens in my pocket. Then I take them to the vending machine so I can get some more health. I know none of that rhymed. I'm sorry. I couldn't think fast enough. Oh, wealth. Wealth. I should have said wealth somewhere. Can we explore all of this side before we just go over here. Oh, there's death in this room. I smell death in the... Oh, it's another child. Hey, be you friend or be you foe? Be you Yelatoa or be you Theologia? What did we name her? It was like Theology or... Oh, no. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, boy. Not, not bueno. Not, not bueno at all. This is not for us. How are we going to get past all those little things? We even need to be over there? Uh, I mean, looks like there's a note at best. I guess we can shoddy some of them. Feel bad for this because they're children, but 
I gotta get past y'all somehow and y'all are little murderers. Come on. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a shotgun, it's pretty strong. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Oh, what the hell? Where'd you come from? What was that? I am so sorry. I don't know how I walked past you, but I did. Somebody's still alive. I hear you. How many are in here? Oh my gosh. There's still two more. How is that possible? Okay. Again, I am really sorry about that. There was like seven children we just killed, but uh, there was definitely nowhere to hide or sneak around them or anything. It was just like death, 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 death. Ophelia. Hmm. Utter lore number six. The times and places in our world where their influence is great. From a transitory realm known as Eldervel. Like the roots of a tree, these events were connected by the memories of its inhabitants. There are speculations about what would happen should you submerge in this realm deep enough. You may resurface in a different time and place altogether. Of course, no one has ever lived to tell. Oh, and thus you have the name Eldervel. I see. Nope, want no part of that. You can have all of that, Ophelia. Time seems to be a little wonky. We must be in the Eldervel. We we'll definitely take this. Of course, her room will just be stocked with all kinds of good stuff. The clock is turning faster than it's supposed to. I would say so. I mean, but it's funny because how is a clock a representation? Not a representation, but like actually connected to time, right? Like your clock could just be mal malfunctioning. The battery could just be effed up. It has no real actual correlation to, you know, what's happening outside time wise. Calendar shows a date from half a year ago. 2003? My god, I was like 10. 10, yeah, I was 10. Uh, remember your geometric shapes. Triangle, square, circle. I'm sure that'll come in handy, right? It's got to. What is that? My old childhood doll. It has been torn to pieces. It's not even present. This is in my memory locked and yourself. I'll keep the key of it. It must have been our birthday. A birthday cake. Happy 18th birthday, Ophelia. Who could have made it? My birthday is two months from now. Oh, she's not even 18 yet. Oh, Eric was thinking she was eight, uh, 28. She's 17. I will make the most of your sacrifice. I promise. Oh, it looks like a happy family. So happy. Super happy. Uh, Jack's letter to Ophelia. When I was young, I traveled all around the world looking for happiness. I achieved many things, but none brought me as much joy as you did. You are our heritage. Be better than we ever were. I'm sure you won't disappoint us. She's a monster slayer, so I mean, that's pretty cool. Melissa's letter to Ophelia. My dear Ophelia, you were so young, and yet you have been through so much. I'm so sorry it had to be this way. All I can wish for you now is freedom and happiness. Go as far as you can. Make the choices we couldn't. That is your job. Well, I'm back. I went as far as I could, and then I came right back. Don't know why I need that. Don't know why I need that. The camera. A replica of the Camera Obscura. Dad brought it for me as a gift during his travels. Are we not going to take it? There's a book on my bed, The Prince of Denmark. My mother always told me I was too young to read it. Never read it. So if that's a reference to something, I don't know, sexual or uh, aggressive or violent or just important, I don't know what that is. Ooh, compass. Nope, token. All right, everybody, you may notice that was a weird cut. We're back again with the game. Sorry if my voice gets a little bit more quieter here. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Got a sore throat going on, but as they as they say, the uh, show must go on. So where do we leave off here? I mean, who are we really saving it for anyway? Come through. Who is that? Is that? No, oh, it can't be Sam. Oh, it's another demon. All right, here we go. Oh, no, there's two of them. You would think because they have like, I don't know, no faces, no ears, nothing actually at all other than bodies. They want to be able to hear or see me. And yet, I'm pretty adept at finding me. All right, buy some time here. I don't think they can open doors, but I've been surprised before. I'm going to take that because we definitely could use some of that. Oh, see, look, 
trying to come through the door right as it is. They know we're here. They definitely can hear. Question is, can I shoot you through the door? I don't. Should we waste a bullet on trying to figure that out? I saw blood, but I don't know if that really did damage though. Sucks because I can't really even tell if we're doing damage. But it's definitely dead. All right, so we'll use the last one. Oh, uh, what's our health looking like? 70? All right. Don't want to waste too much health here. But I'm hoping. Hello. Yeah, cool. If I could have escaped that without fighting, I would have, but something tells me there was no other way around that. But we are picking up a lot more coins, so. At least we'll be able to replenish bullets or health. Probably health, right? Oh no, we got plenty of health. Well, we have two painkillers anyway. All right, how are we gonna help Sam? That's the real question. Are you actually dead, or are you just waiting for me to pick up this token? Oh, dead as dead can be. Uh, let's go straight, cause that looks like a way that can not transition us or move us too far into the future of the game. going over here what's this picked up doll right arm oh that's right because she has a doll that was torn apart that is correct oh definitely take that token what about up here nada oh there's a note though also I was looking back at some uh footage I feel like we missed a note that was on a table in that one area that I was like oh it's empty in here I don't know how I did but I feel like I missed it there's no water or gas on the property only electricity don't worry you don't you won't die but without water will definitely die of hunger and thirst at least metabolism doesn't seem to work here okay never mind just got my truth right back in my face let's go try this door over here i mean I, the biggest thing that i'm worried about is making sure that we can uh rescue sam <clears throat> i don't want to go too far because it does feel like it's optional it's like saving the kid earlier was definitely optional i don't think had to save the kid, I don't think. But I'm sure that's going to influence our ending. So let's go for the good ending, right? Let's go for where the world turns back to normal and hopefully doesn't stay like this. Before we go downstairs, this door's about to uh, need a key. All right. And I know we got to go back. So I know there's a way we didn't explore in the back way just yet, but let's go ahead and lock this. Boom. And this leads to, oh. All right, so we still have this to explore. One of the things that I love about this game is that it truly does feel interconnected. Like doors that that they were locked, you couldn't get into earlier, you get a chance to come back and actually open them up. And I think this is really cool because everything just feels very, very realistically laid out. What the hell is going on here? Kind of ritual, demonic ritual. Is Yelatoa in here? I don't know why I still can't remember the other one. Thea, Thea something. Yeah, Theodosia. All right. Uh, instead of checking out this weird ritual with kids, they have a feeling like this is a kind of final level looking place. Oh, we're so not ready for that. There's like eight kids in there. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it felt like eight kids in there. Maybe they're friendly towards us because we didn't kill the other two in that room downstairs. Let's go backwards though and explore those rooms that I didn't near Sam. Oh. Man, I feel like I'm so less energetic right now. I'm so sorry about that, y'all. I I am doing my best. I don't know where this uh, sore throat came from. I was just slept on the couch uh, two nights ago and I woke up and it was just it was over with for my throat. Thankfully, that's all it is so far. All right, so this looks like it's going right back down where we've already been. Yeah, okay. What? Oh yeah, we came from here. Wait, so is this just, that door just lead to the door where um, the laboratory was, right? Cause that's, now it's locked. Yeah, this is just a laboratory door. That's weird. There's something down there. this for whatever reason 
oh, is this how I was supposed to get rid of those bugs so that I didn't take all that damage trying to go in and out of the laboratory? Yep, it sure was. I don't know why I did not figure that out last time. Yeah, this is the Kim lab. We've done everything in here. So the only way forward is with all those demon kids walking around. I say we start off with the shoddy just because we know one blast is uh, one kill. And I'm not, I think it's like three or four for the handgun. There's so many. We definitely want to. Yeah. As many of one as we can. Hold on. One, two. Okay. One of them didn't read off. I don't know why. Definitely lost a shot there for some reason. And th that's what I was saying with like the combat. Sometimes the uh, hit detection is wonky. All right. So see how many it takes with a handgun. One. You even react to that. Two. Okay, so it's two. One, two, three. Bit on your grave. What achievement is that? All right, so they're all dead. And we managed to save four bullets. And we used all of our shotguns. So. Oh, no, we left one. Okay, cool. Very cool. That melee, we would have died messing around with just using melee. So many enemies. Hell, even for one. Uh, I see you over here. Can't do anything with that. So we just unlock this doorway over here. Door is locked. I need a key. Oh, okay. For both ways, huh? You're like wheezing like a ventilator or something. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Not again. I thought there was just one of you. That's not good. Well, at least we fought one before, so we know we, there's just no... I say fought, quote unquote fought one. We know that there's no fighting her. We need to just avoid her at all cost. And I haven't saved in a hot minute, so that also kind of worries me. Here we go. 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 Oh god, we're not doing great. We're not doing great. I'm not gonna lie. We're doing bad and I didn't save. Oh my gosh, that's what I was afraid of. Alright, so now we have two. Because we actually killed that one like we were supposed to. That one demon child. So add one extra shotgun to waste. Not waste, but use. Get rid of the nurse. Really? We came in here for a token? I mean, not that I'm complaining, but that's it? And she walks so heavily, you can hear her from this other level that technically, I guess, doesn't exist with her level because, you know, at a loading screen. Definitely take that. You know, we had low health. I don't know why I didn't heal up. We had like three anxiety pills just hanging around that I should have used and I never did. That was so dumb of me. Boss is los. Okay, don't fall, don't fall. Don't know what that is down there. We may actually need to fall. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, go back around. Are we go to. Oh, we should just go ahead and fall. I don't know how much the damage is going to be. We'll just go ahead and fall. Oh, yeah, no damage. Cool. Uh, Ophelia's drawings. My daughter's drawings have me worried recently. I know a kid should have colorful imagination, but this is just unsettling. Are they plants? Monsters? I asked her about it, and she told me she just drew what she saw in the building. I've seen many strange things here, but never anything like this. I'm guessing those are the vines, right? Yeah, essentially the vines, even though they look like amoebas. Definitely take that. All right, that was all that was for this level, so we will rock out of here. Um, wait, what? There is only what we leave behind. True, true. Legacies and all that. Doors now open. Where did this go to? Chemistry lab. This is. Oh, this is the third floor. Yeah, this is the third floor. Okay. We need to finish out this area right here. Great. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Oh, that shotgun is so beautiful, even though it sounds terrible. There's another one around here somewhere. There's no kickback or anything. Just, yeah. I think even the old PS2 uh, Silent Hill 2 has some kickback with its shotgun, I think. I feel like that's what I remember, but maybe just my childhood memory of it. Oh, cool. Right arm. Uh, left arm. You can fall through there, but I'm assuming that's going to lead right to... Um, Oh, girl, like we just did damage to her by pressing that button, I'm guessing, or that plant. All right, down we go. Please don't kill us. Can't slow her down, so we don't need even waste bullets on her. Just looking for a torso or some legs. without contact sounds terrible but you all know what I mean there's a letter oh that's the door we opened earlier okay let's hope she can't open doors because I'm gonna close this one behind us and we have a letter strange scribbles number five it was so long ago yet I still remember clearly how it happened how it felt. The night when O was cured, everything became weird, like time itself was inconsistent. Slowing down, speeding up, and going backwards. Alright, who wrote those? Was that Howard, or was that... Father. Fringe. Right, so the only way left for us to go was where she went. Far to the right, but I can't have not saved in quite a bit of time. That concerns me, and I think I'm going to go save real quick. Or not. Maybe we'll push forward just a little bit further just to see if there's a safe point to pay. I don't even know where the thing went. I really thought that thing was only like a manifestation of the mother, which I guess could still be true. And there's just multiples of her manifestations running around. No, that, that doesn't make sense. As I said it, I was like, that sounds dumb. Yeah, she just like disappeared on us. What? There is something back here though. Oh, it's a torso. That's what it is. Oh, never mind. It's a doll head. All right, well, hopefully she doesn't appear. We're gonna go take all this stuff back towards the doll and also just um, go save. All right, so we can put this all together now. There's the head, there's the arm. We're just missing a body, the two legs. Though I really don't know where we would have missed those at. I felt like we explored everything there was to explore. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I thought she was gone for good, but she's not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, it's the whole thing. I don't think we can fight that. I've tried before and it didn't work out, right? Oh, no. Sam was in our way. That's what it was. All right. This room looks pretty empty. We can go. We can go. Okay. So that's where the last one was. Perfect. Now we just got to drop off the body. Here you go. Boom. Legs attached to the doll and the body. And we got a key. Two doors. I guess we'll try the nursery door. Sam is at. All right. Let's see if this opens Sam's door up. Yes, perfect. Exactly what we needed. She shouldn't be dead yet. You were just alive. How are you? I don't think I can make it. It got me good. Come on, Sam. Let me help you. Maybe if you could find a syringe for me, that could give me some time. I used the syringe on Sam. She seems past out. I hope she'll make it. Oh, you weren't even going to ask me? You just immediately took my syringe, huh? I'm glad we had one in the tuck. At least get a token for my time. Ah, there. That token for my time. That's perfect. That is a fair trade. Buy another syringe. All right, so now we have a key so we can open this, right? Door unlocked. Perfect. Top of the chain. Even unlocked. I wish I knew what all these meant. Oh. Wait a minute. 
Did I want to open this door? Or was there another door I wanted to open? It was this door. Okay, yeah. Two sides of the same coin. What does it say? Balance. Family. Future. Virtue. Okay, what is all this? Sin. Creation. Dead guy. Conflict. One looks like it's holding on to its baby or something. It has like a daisy in its hand. We'll take that for sure. Sovereignty. What do we got going on here? It all began when you were born. Fragile and clueless about the world. A house marked by shadow waiting for you to control. The future faces the past, clinging to it desperately. To fulfill your purpose, you must become our queen. Those who enter the four marks in pursuit of the greatest intuition will the path open to the assumption of power. Yeah, I'm guessing that all tells us what we need to do with these things here. Birth, genesis, or invention looks like a seed or an ovum. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. That's a circle, I think. It means we need to start over here with this. Okay. Something tells me I better be prepared before opening this door. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what do you mean? I'm as prepared I can, as I can be, I think. Thanks for that. All right, so circle, a house marked by shadow. Definitely gonna take these. I've missed all over these. Yeah, we'll take all that. House marked by shadow. Future, we don't need that. We need. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? A house marked by shadow. A house symbol. It's part of the Delaney family insignia. Wait for you to control the future faces of the past, clinging to it desperately. To fulfill your purpose, you must become our queen. So the reason I haven't started is I'm curious if it's only four marks, right? And we know that it starts with creation and then it moves to house. And then I think it moves to um, future. And I think it ends on sovereignty. But I'm wondering if we can choose between like sovereignty or like virtue for the final mark and that kind of helps to dictate our ending as well or whether it's set in stone because I also noticed that the pattern in here starts with a circle then you have a triangle then you have a house um and I really don't see the last thing so I'm just curious if we can kind of play around with our last option let's track I said uh circle house triangle and I want to try that one that cool? Okay, so it turns out you can't choose. It's got to be the one that it is. Maybe, maybe not future, maybe time instead of future. So the hourglass. So circle house hourglass followed by circle house hourglass. Texas. It is that one. Okay, so we just got future mixed up with um time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that's bright. That is really bright. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell are you? I even get a good look at. Oh, okay, or not? Yeah, we definitely need to unload. Oh, 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 oh. Not I'm shooting. I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. How's our health? Pretty good, actually. All things considered, we're going to keep running here. This does remind me of, of a uh, Silent Hill type uh, boss, though. Night. Two? Two? I probably shouldn't have even done that. It's probably wasted. Are they getting closer to me? Dot. Dot. Oh, okay. Well, that was all that. Ow. How's our health? Oh, it's actually not that. She doesn't do that much damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. I say that as she shoots more fire arrows at me. Whoa. Fire, 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 fire. Oh boy. Must be pissed. She's bringing out new attacks. Dodge that. Oh god. Not like this. Not like this. Wait, wait, wait. Oof. We took that one. Uh, what is that? What is what is that attack? Is that fire again? I can't. Oh, maybe we should duck. 
below that. Ow. We're definitely going to heal up now. Here we go. Here we go. Die, 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 die. Got to be close to death, right? A little bit. Got to be even closer. Where's she even at? Oh, there you are. Die. Oh, uh, no. Maybe not now. Maybe not now. That's not the best. She seems kind of healed there. Okay, that's all we had for that. Ah. Go ahead and take some of these. Fill that up. Okay, now we are really out of everything. Oh wait, there's some ammo right there. It looks like some handgun, maybe? Grab that and get out of there. Get down, get down. Get down. And run. <clears throat> Here we go. Ah! They gave us some more ammo, though. Definitely needed that. Is this getting closer? It is getting closer. Go to the center. Go to the center. Ooh. Yeah, that was all we had for that. Anybody want to give us some more? Get out of my way! Are you kidding me? What is going on here? Oh yeah, we used up all of our, our health. Pressing those random buttons, so that kind of sucks. Definitely take this. Let's hope this all works out for us. Take that, please. Take that, please. to figure it out what does she want nope 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 whoa 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 oof don't you dare Mia don't you dare here oh wait ow do some of that health we got and, uh, you know, reload here where we can. Pick up. Man, she is taking a beating. She will not die. Is that good or bad? Is that. I think we did it. I think we did it. Wait. This is a choice thing family over doll. I don't want to make the wrong choice here, but I feel like if we go over to our fam- What? This is like accepting our fate and our destiny, and this is- I don't know. Let me see. What is this about? You just make a bad choice. He ain't got no eyes. The Delaney family. What the hell? I feel like that was the wrong choice. You probably should have chose the doll. Maybe it meant childhood or so. Oh boy. Guardian, best friends forever. Oh, they lived. Yoga. Can you believe what just happened? Well, that was something else. He doesn't understand yet. I sure don't. He has to. They are growing ever more powerful. Be patient. You can count on her. As well as the other one. Oh, now I really can't wait. What should we do until then? I see a town nearby. Come on. Maybe they have something for us. Uh, maybe not. There are many theories about what happened in the old Delaney Institution. The building was abandoned for more than 10 years, slowly rotting away. 
Despite this, there were reports over the years of lights coming from inside. Most inexplicably, sometime around November of 2003, construction collapsed. Now it's only rubble, reminder of a bygone age. What transpired there will remain a mystery to all of us who haven't lived it. Oh, developed by Soul Kitty 2D and puzzle design by Smaxy. Check back later for updates. Thanks for playing. You are awesome. Oh, you are awesome. Just wish I understood more about this. And oh, there's no credits. That's it, huh? That's a first for us, huh? All right, everybody. So last time we picked the family issue, uh, the family option, and uh, I went through again. It took me actually five times of death, but I don't know why she got harder the next time that I played her. But we're gonna see what happens when we choose the doll this time, whether it affects our ending that much. Last air. But this has already seen better. Definitely feel like we were supposed to leave her parents behind, so this screams better to me. Out. Oh yeah, this this was probably the ending we should chose. This is I know it wasn't our first pick, but uh I'm claiming this one. Uh, it looks like Theolga. That's the name of the girl, by the way. That's what we had named her. I couldn't remember. Going back to Theodosia. <clears throat> My name is Ophelia Delaney. I was born in a quiet little town called Alder Stowe. My parents did what they could to make the world a better place. Now it's my time to go forward and leave my own mark on history. Not be afraid of change and embracing the future. I am at peace with my past now. I'm no longer grounded by its grasp. Free to live my life as best as I can. I love that ending so much better. Again, Soul Kitty was developed in Smacky. Now that, that was a more proper ending to Elderville. That is going to do it for our Elder Realm playthrough. For those who are not sticking around for our final thoughts, I just want to say thank you for joining me for this playthrough. Again, I'm sorry that the ending has got me a little bit more or less in, uh, enthused than I would normally be simply because I am feeling under the weather and my voice is killing me right now and I need to take a break. But I appreciate it nonetheless that you stopped by to watch this playthrough. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did playing it. I have a few gripes, but most mostly positive things to say about this, but we'll get to that in the final thoughts. So. Uh, for those who are not hanging around, I just, again, say thank you, and I hope to see you all in the next video. How's it going, everybody? Thank you for joining me for our final thoughts on Elder Bell. This is going to be a much shorter one than I would normally do, but here are my main takeaways. One, I love that it's a uh, early 2000s-inspired game, and I definitely got a lot of Silent Hill uh, vibes from it for some reason. Silent Hill 2 is probably one of, the, one of my favorite... Well, it is one of my favorite games, but it's one of the earliest games that I can remember playing for the PS2. Uh, outside of that, I really enjoy exploring the school. I've always said that schools and mansions lend themselves to horror perfectly, and I love um, playing in those kinds of worlds. So the only thing I didn't like was, of course, the mind level. I hate mind levels. They're so uninspiring, and Elder Bell didn't break that curse for me. I still hate mind levels. I thought there was really cool variety in the creatures. I loved um, when we first met the ones that like slide across the ground because those were absolutely terrifying. And every time that they did show up, I heard them somewhere in the background. I, I mean, it was like, I want my most powerful weapon because those were effing terrifying. However, that being said, the enemies kind of tie into my only real gripe with this game. I wish we could have got this. Whatever she's wearing right here, I don't know if you have to play like hard to to get that, but I want that because she looks badass, got horns and everything. Uh, but my only gripe with the game was the combat. I thought the combat screwed me so many times just because it's so wonky. And again, and maybe because it's inspired by those early 2000s wonky kind of uh, playthroughs. But I don't remember being it that hard to beat creatures in like the original Silent Hill. I know sometimes like it was hard to like control them and aim the character the right way. But as far as like actually making connection with them, and maybe there was some difficulty, but that was my main complaint with this game. Like that also screwed me in like the boss battle because it's where sometimes I'd be up close on her and I'd like let one go on the uh, shotgun and it seemed like she did not take that damage at all or she wasn't phased. Or I couldn't tell if I was doing actual damage. Um, <clears throat> and you know, and of course you didn't see that because like I said, I played through, beat the boss the first time on our first playthrough with you know barely. And then I want to play through it again to see if we can get that second ending, which I'm so glad we did because that is definitely the preferred ending, the ending that I want to go through. Sam lives, so does, uh, what's his name? Call him. I don't know where Daniel was at in that. Did he just disappear? Did he leave his son? Was like, okay, I'm bound to the house now. But um, story-wise, I think there's a really cool story here. 
and I think I got the gist of the story here. I don't know if this is going to take another playthrough or me just going back to rewatch the, the videos and seeing like what the papers say. I'm not 100% like sure on like the trans the transition between her parents and Howard. I'm not I felt like her parents were already kind of involved in this like wanting to know the secrets of the elders. So they were already diving into that world and I'm not sure how Howard fit into that whether he was also like somebody who had heard about, you know, what was going on with Ophelia and wanted to further push into it, which I think some of the paperwork said. But then like where the fallout occurred between Howard and father or the parents and like how that ended up being lead to the death of basically the father. Because I'm guessing the father was the one who got shot outside. Uh, the cops killed him. And I think Daniel was the one who was responsible for her father's death. I'm assuming, right? There's just like little, little, little things about the story that I, I didn't understand. And that's just because it's hard to focused on the story and uh do commentary so that's to be expected overall though i really enjoyed the story too and i would like to see what happens next because you know we have little theolgia and um yellow toa who are clearly saying that there's somebody else out there that's like ophelia that is growing in power and something else is coming from the elder veil vale into this world and yeah i would love to see where this game goes after this so <clears throat> this wasn't a um suggestion pick i almost said thank you to somebody but i don't know who i would have said it to this is one we just stumbled across on uh, steam and i'm so happy we did because i actually really did like the game a lot it deserves a whole lot more reviews than six so maybe you uh have watched this and felt like you want to give it your own playthrough and you'll discover something different than i or you know get a different ending than i because i feel like there's probably at least one more different ending especially since i didn't get this cool purple thing here but uh, that's going to do it for my final review for Eldervel. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. I want to thank you all for sticking it out and watching the entire Eldervel playthrough. Um, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on the channel. Some really cool ones. Some of my personal favorites, of course, are Sally Face, Fran Bo. Um, what else did we enjoy? Uh, Lust was kind of cool. Yeah, we've got a, a ton of cool video games uh, sitting here on this channel. And uh, we'll continue to build more. And if you want to add to that collection, don't forget that you can uh, suggest a game in the comment section below. But that will do it for me. Again, I am Jay Wright, and I want to thank you all for watching another episode of Jay Plays. Hope to see you in the next video. Deuces.